This episode is brought to you by our friends at Hover, the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. Get 10% off today by visiting hover.com slash Mr. Mobile. Hi, I'm Jay Goldman, and you are watching Mr. Mobile on Butterscotch.com. Today we're going to take a look at a new app that's just come out from Google for the Android OS called Gesture Search, and it's actually the latest release from Google Labs. So you may not be familiar with Google Labs. They do all kinds of really cool experimental kind of stuff where they're playing around with new concepts, and then they release them to the public, and you can actually just go and install them directly on your device. So some of the stuff that comes out of Google Labs is actually web-based software, so new things you can try in Gmail and stuff like that. In this case, it's actually an Android app that you can install on your Android app, uh, phone that's running Android 2.0 or better. You can uh, grab the URL directly from the show notes on butterscotch.com. It's just gesturesearch.googlelabs.com, or you can obviously Google for it. Now, this is beta software, as is everything that comes from Google Labs. So expect, if you're going to play with this on your device, that you're probably going to run into some bugs or things that don't work properly. If they get to the point where it's actually finished polished stuff and they release it, they'll obviously clear those up, but at the moment it is beta. So what does Gesture Search do? Well, very simply, it allows you to search your Android device for contacts, bookmarks, applications, and music tracks by just drawing directly on the screen. It's really kind of cool. Once you're in Gesture Search, you just draw right on the screen, so it follows your handwriting, and it'll start popping in the, the letters. So I've just done M. We can do an E. So that'll switch us into things that have ME in them. Uh, this is really, really handy in situations where you've only got one hand. So say, for example, you're driving and you want to be able to make a phone call. You can just start drawing the person's name directly on the screen. As soon as you see the contact there, you can tap on it and go directly into the contacts and uh, make your call. I actually, way back in the day, used to have a Palm Pilot that allowed you to draw the graffiti characters in big on the screen. And it was actually much easier than trying to draw them in the little box at the bottom. So, Easy to draw the characters right on the screen there. Some simple tips, if you're trying to do a space, just do a line directly on the screen from left to right. That will give you a space so you can do multi-word queries. You can also delete characters by going down into the query box at the bottom of the screen and doing a right to left backspace. So that will get rid of the last character that you just typed. If you do a left to right stroke in there, it will actually delete the entire thing and you'll be right back to normal. In the Android menu down here, that pops up a little bar at the bottom. There's a settings mode. That'll allow you to filter the kind of content that you want to have returned. So I can go in here and I can say, for example, you know, don't show me browser bookmarks. I can just turn those off and uh, that will save that setting. And now it will only search the things that aren't there. This is a free download. You can actually get it in the Android Marketplace directly from your phone. Just look for Gesture Search. Or you can go to the Gesture Search site, and there's a QR code there that if your phone's got a QR code app on it, you can just grab a picture of that, and it'll go directly into the download mode for you. So free download. A lot of fun to actually play with this. It's kind of cool to see some of the stuff that Google's planning to do in the OS early on and get a chance to kind of experiment with it. So I encourage you to go and grab it and try it on your Android phone. I'm Jay Goldman. This has been Mr. Mobile on Butterscotch.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. This episode is brought to you by our friends at Hover, the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. Get 10% off today by visiting hover.com slash Mr. Mobile.